Josh Devine here from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. As you know, it's National Forensic Science Week and we are busting some common forensic myths this week. We want to talk a little bit about firearms now. So when you watch some of these shows online, you might see, oh, they've got some firearms evidence and lo and behold, 15 seconds later, they're able to match it all together. Does that really work that way? Well, here to answer some questions is forensic scientist LJ Hodge with TBI. Thank you for your time today. You're welcome. Tell me a little bit about what are we able to do when it comes to firearms and identification? When it comes to the firearms evidence, we are able to match ammunition components such as cartridge cases and bullets back to a particular firearm. However, we cannot match a particular bullet back to a particular cartridge case. There's one thing we can do to give information is say that a bullet is a particular type and design that goes with that cartridge case. There are companies out there that have bullets that are proprietary to their cartridge cases. And we know what they are and when we see those, we can say they're consistent with manufacture type and design. Makes perfect sense, but it takes certainly some time to get up to speed on this kind of work. How much training did you go through to, to become a firearms? forensic scientists. It, it's a two-year training program and it's a solid two years of learning uh, not only about firearms, how they function, the safety features, and how to do microscopic examination, but keeping up to date on things that change. And one of the big things that changes in, in our field is uh, new types of ammunition manufactured. So there's always something new to learn? Yes, sir. There you go. All right, so that sounds like another myth busted, I would say, I in agree. terms of what you see on TV and the way firearms works. We'll be back with another one tomorrow. Have a great day.